So in this tutorial, I will explain how to make this grid background which you can use for your motion graphic videos. So grab a fusion composition onto your timeline and increase its length as per your needs. I am going to make it 10 seconds longer. Now click on the fusion composition and head over to the fusion page. Press shift plus a space and add a background node over here and connect it to the media out. And now you will get a solid black background which looks very boring right so we will make it a gradient so change the type from solid to vertical over here and go ahead and customize it as per your needs now click on the background node press shift plus a space and search for a grid node now select that grid over there now you will have grids added to your background but as you can see all the lines in the grids are not consistent to make it consistent change the width of the major line over here same as the horizontal line width and the vertical line width now you will have a grid with consistent lines you can use it like that but i'm going to change the number of rows and columns in this grid so i am going with 7 into 7 grid you can change it to whatever you like now I'm going to reduce the opacity of grid because we are going to use it as background. So we don't want all the elements in the background to pop. Now as you can see your grid background is almost ready. You can use it just like that. If you remember correctly, I showed you a grid background with two circles. Right. So we are going to create those dotted circles now. Now add a text node over here. Now click on the grid node and add a merge node. Connect the text node to the merge node. Now to create a dotted line we will add dash symbols over here. A lot of dash symbols actually. And go to the layout tab and change the type to circle. Now as you can see our circle is still not complete. Now copy those symbols and paste it again to complete your circle. Now your circle is complete but as you can see there are very little gaps in this dotted line. Now to increase the gaps between the dotted line, I'm going to play around with the values of tracking over here. Now we will add a rotation animation, go to the layout tab, go to the first frame and add a keyframe to the Z values and go to the last frame and also add a keyframe and change the value as per your need for the rotation of the circle. Now you will have this circle animation, I'm going to add a transform node. And I'm going to place the circle to this corner over here. Now if you remember correctly, I showed you two circles in the background, right? So to create the other circle, just copy all these three nodes and paste it. And connect it to the merge node and media out. Now I'm going to place the second circle in this corner over here. I will also reduce its size. I'm also going to reduce the opacity of both of these circles. Because as you know, this is a background, we don't want the elements to pop. And that's it, your grid background is ready. I hope this tutorial was useful to you and I'll see you guys in the next one.